We have studied Rh blood group system in our previous video lectures. We know that persons who have Rh antigens on their RBCs are known as Rh positive. Persons in which Rh antigens are absent on their RBCs are known as Rh negative. We also know that Rh negative persons cannot receive blood from Rh positive persons. If blood from Rh positive donor is transfused in Rh negative recipient, an immune response will be induced in Rh negative recipient. This is because, to the immune system of Rh negative person, these Rh antigens are foreign or non self. As a result, anti Rh antibodies are produced and secreted by Rh specific plasma cells. Rh-specific memory B cells are also produced. These antibodies will recognize Rh antigen and bind to donor RBCs. This will result in the destruction of donors RBCs. Also in any subsequent transfusion of Rh-positive blood in this recipient will also fail. This is because, the recipient has been exposed to Rh antigen in previous transfusion, and therefore anti-Rh antibodies, and Rh-specific memory B cells are present in the recipient's body. When the Rh antigen is encountered again by the recipient's immune system these memory B cells get activated, and rapidly produce anti-Rh antibodies. Besides these blood transfusion reactions, the Rh incompatibility is also responsible for complications in pregnancies. Hemolytic disease of newborn is a blood disorder which occurs in fetus if the blood group of the mother and the fetus are incompatible. Major cause of hemolytic disease of newborn is Rh incompatibility. More specifically it is the RHD antigen which is highly immunogenic. This Rh disease used to be a major cause of fetal loss and death among newborn babies. To understand how hemolytic disease of newborn is caused, we need to have a clear idea of exchange of materials between mother and fetus inside the mother's body. Look at this image showing a pregnant woman with the fetus. If we zoom in, we will understand that mother's blood and fetal blood never mixes with each other. Here you can see the circulation of blood within the placenta. Fetal blood circulates in the blood vessels within the chorionic villi. And mother's blood is delivered to and drained from the spaces between the chorionic villi. Thus, fetal circulation is well separated from the mother's circulation. During pregnancy, some of the mother's antibodies belonging to immunoglobulin G class pass through placenta and enter fetal circulation. This enables mother to transfer her immunity to the fetus. Although fetal RBCs do not cross placenta, but small numbers of fetal RBCs can enter mother's circulation through some microscopic pores in the placenta. At the time of delivery, when the placenta separates from the uterine wall, Large amounts of fetal red blood cells enter mother's circulation. Today in this video lecture, we will understand in detail what is hemolytic disease of the newborn, why it is also known as erythroblastosis fetalis, how this disease is prevented in modern times. Let's begin. Hemolytic disease of the newborn is abbreviated as HDN. It is also known as hemolytic disease of the neonate or hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn. Earlier it was used to be known as erythroblastosis fetalis. Suppose mother is Rh negative. This means Rh antigens are absent on mother's RBCs. She is pregnant with her first child, and this fetus is Rh positive. The fetus inherited the Rh antigen from the father. During this first pregnancy with an Rh positive fetus, the Rh negative mother is usually not exposed to fetal red blood cells. 
This is because mother's blood circulation is well separated from the fetal blood circulation in placenta. Few fetal RBCs may escape into mother's circulation from microscopic pores in the placenta. But when this child is delivered, large amounts of fetal RBCs enter the mother's circulation. As we said before, this happens because of the bleeding due to separation of placenta from the uterine wall. What will happen now? To Rh negative mother, these Rh positive fetal RBCs are foreign or non self. So, mother's immune system will start producing anti Rh antibodies against the Rh antigen. These Rh antibodies produced initially belong to immunoglobulin M class. The fetal RBCs in the mother's circulation are cleared by the anti Rh antibodies. We know that antibodies of IgM class cannot cross placenta, therefore these antibodies are not a threat to the fetus. Moreover, since child is delivered by the mother, this first Rh positive child is safe. Depending on the amount of fetal RBCs which enter mother's circulation, memory B cells for these Rh antigens will also be produced. Now here we need to note that the mother's immune system has acquired the ability to react to Rh antigen. Her immune system has recognized Rh antigen as non-self, and now she also has memory B cells specific to these Rh antigens. This is known as sensitization. The sensitization of mother's immune system can also occur earlier in the pregnancy. For example, during prenatal bleed, miscarriage and medical termination of pregnancy. Now suppose, the same Rh negative mother is pregnant with second Rh positive child. What will happen now? Since the immune system of Rh negative mother is already sensitized, memory B cells for Rh antigens are present. Some of the fetal red blood cells enter mother's circulation through microscopic pores in the placenta. Once inside mother's circulation, these fetal RBCs are sufficient to activate the Rh-specific memory B cells. Their activation lead to production of anti-Rh antibodies rapidly. This time these antibodies belong to IgG class, which can cross placenta and enter fetal circulation. These antibodies coat the fetal RBCs and destroy them. Because of fetal red blood cell destruction or hemolysis, baby will be anemic. The rate of hemolysis determines whether the nature of disease is mild, moderate or severe. If hemolysis is severe, there is greater and prolonged destruction of fetal RBCs. Liver, spleen and other organs of the fetus increase their production of RBCs to compensate the loss. This results in spilling of immature RBCs known as erythroblasts in the fetal circulation. For this reason severe anemia in fetus is known as erythroblastosis fetalis. Since this kind of severe anemia occurs in few cases, Hemolytic disease of fetus and newborn is the appropriate term for this Rh complication in pregnancy. Let's now understand how HDN is prevented. The strategy used to prevent HDN involves passive immunization of Rh negative mother with anti Rh antibody preparation. These anti Rh antibodies are available under the trade name Ragam. Rh negative mother is injected with anti Rh antibodies during her first pregnancy, that is at 28 weeks gestation, and again within 24 to 72 hours after delivery. Let's understand how this strategy works. As we said, during her first pregnancy, Rh negative mother is injected with anti Rh antibodies at 28 weeks gestation. Question here is, why at 28 weeks? 
because this is the time about which the fetal RBCs start expressing Rh antigen, more specifically the D antigen. Therefore, if by any chance these fetal RBCs enter mother's circulation, the anti RH antibodies present already in the mother's circulation will destroy those fetal RBCs. And thus, no B cell of mother will have a chance to get activated by RH antigen of fetus, and thus no anti RH antibody production by mother's immune system will take place. Next, anti RH antibodies are injected into mother within 24 to 72 hours after the birth of the child. Now, delivery of child is the time when maternal fetal hemorrhage occurs. That means the placenta separates from the uterine wall. As a result, large amount of fetal RBCs enter mother's circulation. Anti RH antibodies injected into the mother within 24 to 72 hours after delivery will destroy all these fetal RBCs before their contact with mother's B lymphocytes. This will ensure that no B cells of mother get activated and no memory B cells for these RH antigens are produced. Thus, subsequent pregnancy in the immunized RH negative mother will be safe. So, in this video lecture we studied that, hemolytic disease of the newborn, is of RH disease, in which fetal red blood cells are destroyed during pregnancy of an RH negative mother carrying her second, or subsequent RH positive fetus. We also studied, that this disease is prevented by passive immunization of RH negative mother with anti-RH antibody preparation at 28 weeks gestation and again within three days after delivery of the child.